welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different and it's going to be like a pack with me travel kind of vlog style video. As you can probably tell I'm not wearing that much makeup today so this is going to be more of like a relaxed vlog style. If you like these kinds of videos please consider subscribing. Keep on watching if you want to know what I pack. <laughs> so I mainly have this suitcase which is a travel pro one and I also picked up some of these packing cube things on Amazon whenever I watch like pack with me videos people always have these and I just think they look really cool <laughs> so they're basically like these like really lightweight bags I think there's six of them in here and they're all like different sizes those have some like pouch ones as well and you can basically separate off your stuff when you put it in your suitcase so you know where everything is. And I also picked up two of these, but these will mainly be for hand luggage. And they're like TSA approved liquids bags, so you don't have to like struggle to put everything in the plastic bags they give you. So I thought these were really cool. If you are interested, I can link both of these below. I did get them on Amazon. I am going away for three weeks, so I am going to pack quite a lot, mainly dresses. I am struggling to narrow it down at the moment. So I think that's what I'm going to do first and kind of lay this video out as kind of the same as the organize with me video that I did for my makeup drawer. I am also using one of these. I'm not sure if Paper Chase still do them, but they're basically like a travel checklist notebook and you get like so many of them. And I believe it was around five pounds, but it gives you like everything you'd need for different places which I think is really useful and there are like tick boxes next to each of them so I will be going off of this as well as I said I'm not sure if they still do them in Paper Chase but if they do I'd say they're definitely worth picking up if you do travel fairly often so I've just laid out all my dresses that I think I'm gonna take a lot of them are from Killstar I have this like maxi dress from New Look this lace one from Killstar these two Wednesday Adams styles from Killstar. The rose one, again, from Killstar. Uh, this one is from Jawbreaker. I really love this one. It's one that I wear mainly for like holidays. Got this one, which is kind of a basic one from Primark last year. This one from Hell Bunny, which is the anchor one. This is one of my newer ones from Killstar that I think the haul should be up by this point. And again, I think this is the last one from Killstar now. But this one's the pentagram one. This one is from Hell Bunny with the green bats all over it. And these two are maybe ones, I'm not sure. This one is from H&M like three years ago and I really do like it but the material is really heavy. So I'm not sure if I'll take this one yet. And this one, I just, I love the fit of it, but it is kind of Halloween-y, so I'm not too sure. And this one is from Hell Bunny. So I think I'm going to lay out the t-shirts next. So I've just laid out all my t-shirts now. All the top row across there are dresses, and then everything below that is t-shirts, or like tops. I think I probably will narrow this down a bit more. I've just kind of laid out all the ones that are like holiday appropriate. Like I've got kind of three different striped tops, which I don't think is necessary. And I've got some tops that I have particular outfits in mind with. Like this one is specifically for one skirt. So if I don't end up taking that skirt, then I probably won't be taking this one either. It's just kind of narrowing it down between ones that I like. Mainly this row are ones that I can wear with shorts really easily. And then the ones below that are mainly like more dressier ones that I'd wear with skirts. So I probably will narrow this down a bit more, but that's what I have at the moment. So I've got my shorts laid out now, which is from here to over there. I've got seven pairs in total. So I've got like three of these black ones, which are those three. I kind of laid them out so I can count easily how many I have. I've got these ones from Sheen which will be in my sheen haul but these are like really light like they don't weigh anything so I'm not too bothered about having too many pairs of shorts because they're really really light this pair are from H&M and then these are from Primark again so I don't think that's too bad 
Again, I think I have way too many t-shirts. I've now got my swimming costumes and skirts laid out. I have this one from Band, which I really like, and it's got this skull on it. I really like this one, but then if you've seen my Emp haul, I recently got this like Nightmare Before Christmas one, which I really like as well. So I'm still kind of deciding between those two. I've got like this mesh dress in my Primark haul which I got and that's mainly to go over swimwear so I'm thinking I might take this this might be unnecessary um these are kind of like swimming shorts and they don't really match any of that so still thinking about these I've got five skirts which is not too bad I've got this one from Killstar that I really like this one from Restyle which is like my dream skirt this one recently from Killstar this one is a bit heavier so I'm still thinking on this one I've got my velvet one just because I wear that constantly. This one I'm also thinking about still. It's from Sheen. And it depends with what shoes I take. Because if I take winkle pickers, I don't think I wear this. So this one kind of depends on what shoes I'm wearing. So if I do take shoes that go with this, I will take this. But otherwise I think I'll just stick with the four that I have. So I've ended up on my floor because I've run out of room on my bed but basically I think pajama wise I'm gonna take these like Halloween ones from Primark and also the witch ones I love them they're like my favorite and I think I'm gonna take two of these like night dress things so this one again from Primark um it's like a villain one and then this one has like the queen on from snow white so i think i'm gonna take those which i think will be sufficient and loads of fluffy socks of course especially these pumpkin ones and these ghost ones again they're my favorite so i think that's all right for pajamas i don't know me take one out still thinking about it but that's where i'm up to i think next basically i've got like all these travel bags like there there i've got those pouch things and I've got like loads scattered around like in my wardrobe. So I think I'm going to get those out and start sorting out what I'm going to put in them. Stuff like that and maybe start packing shoes. Just finished laying out my shoes. I've got four at the moment. So I've got these ones from Underground. Which are like some of my everyday shoes and they're really comfortable. I've got these Skull Converse um, that I usually travel in like on the plane and stuff these ones which are fairly new to me i've only worn them a few times but i really like how they look with like fishnet outfits so i'm gonna bring these and the last pair are kind of for evening and these are the new rock high heeled shoes that aren't staying on the box and i've also added some cardigans just some like light ones so i got this one which as you can see is fairly see-through but it is a bit more of a kind of thicker material and then i've also got this one which is the like kimono one that was in one of my outfit of the days it's fairly long so i think i'm gonna take this one as well i think i'm not sure because if i i think last time on holiday i wore this with my swimming costume but then if, if i'm taking this mesh one not sure if I'll need both. <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to take this one, but maybe pick between these two. I'm just trying to lay everything out so I can see how much I'm bringing and whether it's like over the top because three weeks is a long time. And I do kind of live in dresses most of the time. And if it is hot weather, like you don't wear clothes for as long as you might do in the winter. That's what I've got at the moment. It might look like a lot. But yeah, I think I am going to try and narrow down these t-shirts. I haven't done that yet. I really thought I had more pouches than this, to be honest. I mean, it's still quite a few, but I did think I had a lot more. I've got this, like, paper chase wash bag that I use all the time if I go away. So that definitely will be for my, like, toothbrush, toothpaste, that kind of thing. I recently picked up this one from Clinton's. I think it was, like, £3, yeah. Um, it's like an Alice in Wonderland themed one. I got these that were in my Primark haul for like £2. This one, which was a present. Um, this one, again from Primark. This one in my collective haul from Bath, which is really cute. And then I also have an Alice in Wonderland kind of pencil case thing. I usually do use 
this for my makeup though as I have another one in here because I really liked that bag <laughs> so I've got these kinds of things I'm thinking of using as I said this one for like toothbrush toothpaste like travel things and then maybe this one is a jewelry bag and then also like makeup bag and just stuff like that I have like these things which I need to kind of put into stuff so yeah I think I'm gonna do that next after that I think I'm pretty much ready to start packing I probably will do like a time lapse kind of thing like I did with my organize with me video so I just have to decide what is gonna go in here and then I can start putting in all my shoes I'm having a bit of a bag dilemma <laughs> realistically I only need one bag but I kind of got my pumpkin one which I just I use all the time like when I'm here yeah I've got this one and I just use it like all the time but I am worried in the heat that it might get hot because it is like a PVC kind of material but it's like such a decent size and you can wear it over your shoulder as well it's got like a strap this one I think I'm definitely gonna take because it's just it is like a backpack which is a lot more comfortable the only problem I have with this is it's very small and my purse just about fits in here um, but I can't fit much more and I'm going to need like sunglasses, like tissues and all that kind of stuff but it is a really nice summer bag so I'm thinking of maybe taking like a day bag and then like maybe like an evening bag for going to restaurants and things so I'm thinking this will be a good day bag and then of course like I'm stuck between this. You've seen my Killstar haul, one of them. I did feature this in, it's, I think it is my latest one, but by the time this goes up, I probably will have like another few. Yeah, I fell in love with this bag and I really want to take it, but I'm worried it's a bit too fancy. <laughs> I'm not sure. I tried to pair both of these bags with the dresses I have and they both match like the same amount of dresses equally which is a bit frustrating and the thing I love about this one is it has so much room in it uh, this one is a bit heavier and again it does have these pvc handles so it is going to get hot but like the material won't get as hot as this one so I'm just having a bit of a an issue with bags but I'm sure I'll narrow it down, but I think at the moment it's this one and maybe one of those other ones. <laughs> I'm now on the floor and I have quite a lot of stuff to put in this wash bag. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. Some of it I'll have to go off camera to do because I have to put like stuff in these travel bottles. things in the case I'm gonna start with my shoes and then start putting some like stuff that I know I can just put away and I don't need to get to before I go away um, I still need to narrow down my clothes but I think I'm just gonna do that as I go so I'm gonna start putting my shoes in now
I've just finished packing my suitcase. This has kind of been like an ongoing all day kind of thing. There are a few things that I can't pack at the moment like hair stuff like hair straighteners, hairbrush, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I also need to go through my jewellery but I think I'm going to put that in my hand baggage. I am going to do a video basically like what's in my hand baggage and that will include like jewellery and makeup and that kind of thing. So I think I've done pretty well like fitting everything in here. I've got all my clothes in here and hopefully the time lapse was all right. I mean, I don't know how that's going to go. I'll come to that when I edit it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this style of video. Let me know what you thought, maybe what I could improve on next time. And yeah, as I said, consider subscribing if you like these types of videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.